Alright, in today's video we're going to take a look at how to set up uh, the plan setting in uh, Link Master. So the icon you're going to want to go to here is the plan setting. You can also look for it here under control uh, plan setting right there. But for now I'll just click on that uh, icon there, plan setting. And it brings up an option. So um, there's lots of different tabs at the top you're going to want to look at. Today we're just going to focus on how to set up a voice call. So there's a couple options here under call type. Uh, call by call normal. This is when you just make a, a dial a phone number, usually a silent termination or, an, um, or a landline with an auto answer. So if you want to do short calls or long calls, you can set that up. The other is a call by call periodic, which is very similar. However, in a normal call, if you drop the call, if you get a, a, a drop call in the middle of your test, it will automatically redial. And so the timing between calls might not be exact. Where in the periodic call, you can ha have either an inbound call, a terminating call, or an originating or an outbound call. And if you drop the call in the middle in a periodic, it will um, wait until the full, uh, the full time sequence before it starts again. So this is important if you're going to have multiple uh, like a benchmarking test where you've got five or eight phones going and you want all of them to dial at exactly the same time. Also make sure that you get the total number of calls identical between all of your tests. So um, the next one is a continuous call where you can just set it up and um, it'll dial the number and just keep that call active for the whole time. And the last one that you'll use um, is this paired call, which is the majority of the time when you're going to do um, voice quality testing. You do have an option here for the call pattern, which can be a combination of um, originating and terminating phones, calls, and you can make all sorts of combinations here. So, an origi so what that, this combination here says is channel 1 um, will be an originating, it'll originate the second call, then it'll do terminating and terminating and back and forth. The dial number. The easiest way is if this phone number right here are accurate, is accurate, this is the dial number of that phone, then just hit the min mobile identification number and click on channel 2 and it will link up that phone right there, that number. The service option you can pick from. Um, the ones you'll use the most are 103, 104, and 105. So um, Bluetooth is the easiest to use if you've got a PM12 or a VoltBox. Sometimes you'll have to use the ADB interface using Remote Monitoring App. If you've selected the Remote Monitoring App, then you need to make sure that you select the Release Call option and Accept Call option as well. So that this means is when there's an incoming call, you want RMA to answer the call for you. The so let me go back to Bluetooth there. Now you'll see those are grayed out because you don't need to manage in um, with Bluetooth you don't need to manage those. Bluetooth will take care of it for you. The target service, um, whether it's circuit switch or circuit switch fallback, it allows the software to, to <clears throat> look for the call processing in the correct location. So in a circuit switch call, you're going to look at the layer 3 messaging to identify if the call's um, been put on a traffic channel. If you're going to do a Volte call, it needs to look at the SIP messaging for it. Most of the time you'll also have a um, checkbox here for detect the UE, UE conversation. So it makes sure that um, when the second phone has answered that um, everything starts appropriately. When you get to the paired call, um, you'll see you'll get a drop down here. And that channel 2 is available. And the only reason it's available, if you see on the left side, is there's no checkbox here. So when I pick channel 2, now it's automatically checked for number two and we get the double arrow to say that those two are synchronized or paired together. If I had, um, if I had this one unchecked, let's say, um, or if I had it checked and I come back to channel one 
and I pick a paired call, you'll notice that channel 2 now is not available in the drop-down. And it's not available because there's already a checkbox next to it. So, so make sure that if you're going to pair the two, make sure that the second phone is unchecked when you get ready. Then you'll be able to select it. You'll also select the service option again. Make sure you've got that set right. And the service type um, as well. Call count is how many calls you want to run in that test. Uh, the call setup time, this is how long you're going to give the call before you call it a blocked call. So 20 seconds is um, it's pretty normal. Sometimes you can go to 25. 65 is how long you're going to be in traffic. So how long do you want the call to be active for? And then idle time at the end. How many seconds before you make the next call? You have the option to run the voice quality test. Um, if you have this checked, then you get the config option. In this case, I, if you go into configuration, let's look at some of these settings. The first one is the secure measurement count. This says that you want to make sure that you only have four measurements going back and forth. So um, I have 65 seconds in my traffic time, and each clip is, uh, or each voice clip that goes back and forth is seven seconds. So that's um, 14 seconds back and forth for a pair and you're going to do it four times. If I have that unchecked it just is going to go as long as my traffic time is um, is active. So if I had set my traffic time to 600 seconds for 10 minutes and if I had the secure measurement count turned on in that 10 minutes it would only take four, four MOS readings whereas if I had it unchecked it would measure the entire 10, 10 minutes. You want to pick the standard you're going to run either the Polka narrowband or the Polka wideband. Narrowband you'll use for circuit switch or circuit switch fallback. Wideband you'll use for Volte testing. And it's important to make sure that you paired this appropriately so the R receive speech, this is the reference speech that you'll use. In this case, um, I'll pick the wideband reference speech because I'm using the wideband standard here. If you're going to use the narrowband standard, then make sure you pick the narrowband reference speech. These options is if you want to save the, the WAV file or the clip, if it's less than 3, or if the whole average is less than 3.2. And you can see there's a couple um, um, hints if you want to, uh, if you hover over it. These BQ and CBQ stands for bad quality and continuous bad quality. So if you get a, a clip that is less than 2.2, and you could change that if you want to, um, that's the threshold when it's going to call it a bad quality clip. And if you get a continuous bad quality, it says if I have an average of 1.9, for at least two clips, it's going to characterize or classify that clip as a continuous bad quality. The interval, the best one to use is the seven seconds. And you'll leave the wait time there at, uh, at 2000. You've got a copy to all to make sure that these uh, standards are copied to all of the, um, all the channels, and then you say OK. Now before I leave this, let's come and take a look at some of these tabs at the top. So idle mode, um, this one is if you want Link Master to not control the application layer. If you want to control it manually, maybe you will run a um, speed test manually on the phone or you will um, run web browsing, you can hit idle. In data call, you can select um, perhaps like an FTP session or an HTTP session or a ping session there. Um, SMS, so if you want to send and receive text messages back and forth between two phones, this allows you to do that. We'll stick with the voice call for now. Um, and um, we'll go ahead and just click that, click that up, and we'll say OK. So that'll save that setting. 
and then once you're ready to get started you'll click on all channel and then come down here to voice call call monitor this is looking at the application layer so it'll tell you the status of the call and then go into information voice quality monitor and that will give you the MOS scores along with the, stand, the uh, results.